सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली आई एम विद बाबू राम भट्टाराय वन ऑफ नेपाल सीनियर मोस्ट लीडर्स लेफ्ट लीडर एंड नाउ वेरी मच पार्ट ऑफ अ कोलिशन विद नेपाली कांग्रेस uh the there is a lot of excitement in the air and let me ask mr bhatarai about his chances he's not fighting himself but the chances of his party uh mr bhatarai welcome to the print thank you uh in nepal today it seems as if uh, a new generation of politicians is taking over you are not fighting the election but your daughter manushi is fighting uh so is this also dynasty politics in nepal no मेरे आवर जनरेशन फॉट अगेंस्ट द मोनार्की एंड इंट्रोड्यूस द डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक इन द कंट्री नाउ द न्यू एजेंडा इज गुड गवर्नेंस एंड इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट सो इट्स टाइम आवर जनरेशन हैंड्स ओवर द रीन ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स टू द न्यू जनरेशन इन दैट सेंस न्यू पीपल आर कमिंग फॉरवर्ड माई इन माई ओन पार्टी Uh, we have a mixed bag not only the new generation uh, our co-chairman mr mahendra yadav who is of my own age he is fighting from uh, madhesh area and there are several other people who are fighting in different parts of the country but my daughter is just 36 years old uh, but she is a emerging leader so she is fighting an election from kathmandu valley so your daughter is a former student at jawaharlal nehru university just like yourself you are also uh, studied from gnu in delhi and you are amongst the best known faces in india of the leadership of nepal how do you look at the politics in nepal today how do you see this election this election is very ambitious in normal times in nepal we fought for democracy for last 65 years and after the promulgation of the new constitution in 2015 on we had had the first election in 2017 Uh, a left coalition led by uh, K P Sharma Oli and Prachanda had a landslide victory. Unfortunately, they squandered that opportunity. They quarrelled and split the party. And Mr K K P Sharma Oli unconstitutionally dissolved, tried to dissolve the parliament, and which was overturned by the Supreme Court. So that way, that uh, opportunity was wasted. Uh, against that uh, unconstitutional anti democratic autocratic tendency of mr k p uh, sharma oli the other democratic forces left and democratic forces including the nepali congress the maoist party the socialist party and few other groups we joined together and formed a democratic and left alliance so we are fighting this election against the anti democratic autocratic tendency of mr mr k p sharma oli we are trying to defend this constitution and then give good governance to the people so there is a, there are now in your coalition in this gathbandhan you have the nepali congress which is led by prime minister sher bahadur deoba there is yourself there is the maoist center which is led by um, prachand ji and there are other um, parties as well but isn't it interesting that the nepali congress and prachand and yourself are coming together to fight this election against kp oli yeah you know it, it sounds uh, peculiar but it is quite normal and natural because after the peace agreement of 2006 it was the nepali congress and the maoist party who were the main stakeholder of the peace process and we were the ones who led Uh, uh, the um, formation of a new constitution through the constituent assembly so our stake is higher than other groups including the uml led by mr kp sharma bali and kp sharma bali has a very um, disturbing tendency of uh, uh, autocracy populism and raking of uh, uh, xenophobia and ultra nationalism Uh, so the, the, that is disturbing the whole democratic process in the country that is why we have come together 
to uphold this constitution, deepen democracy, give good governance, and lead to a path of development and prosperity in the country, which is the demand of the people. Baburam ji, tell me about uh, the reaction in Nepal today now that the elections have been announced. What are people saying when K.P. Oli was prime minister and there was this crisis when he incorporated all the territories like Limpia Dhura, Kalapani and Lipu Lake and made it part of the uh, Nepali flag. Now, what is the situation today? Uh, what is your party's view? How are you intending to resolve it? You know, our difference with Mr. K.P. Sarma Uli is on the question of democracy and defending of the constitution. And about this issue of border dispute with India in over Olympia Dora and Kalapani area, uh, that is a very long-standing dispute mm -hmm. since the days of the Sugavli Treaty of 1815-16. Uh, in the agreement with the British India, uh, the Western border of India and Nepal was demarcated by the Kali River, but it was never defined which was the Kali. Mm. There are several tributaries of Kali. So that dispute is since then, over, two, over 200 years, that is yet to be resolved. But so are you in a common but issue, but it is a common issue. It should be resolved through dialogue. But why did K.P. Oli raise this issue suddenly? What was the need for him to do that and, and uh, create bad blood with India? No, it's not a question of, of creating bad blood with India. In fact, it is a question of resolving that uh, long-standing dispute. This shouldn't be made an election issue. This is what we are saying, you see. This is a common issue. This is a common issue but between... But it has become an election issue. So, so you see, you, you know in many countries, like I don't want to comment to other countries, in many countries, uh, very opportunistic politicians make uh, the foreign policy issue or the boundary issue as a political issue for their narrow political gain, which is not correct. So same is uh, opportunist politician like Mr. K.P. Sarma will be making an election issue. For us, it is a national issue. It should be resolved through a friendly political dialogue with India. Uh, and we are not making it a, an election issue. So it is up to Mr. K.P. Sarma Uli uh, to answer on this question. But he has got some support in Nepal over this issue, isn't it? No, no, no. This is a common issue. This is a boundary. This is a very sensitive issue. All Nepalese are united. This dispute with India should be resolved through dialogue. This is left behind by history since the British days. So we should sit down and talk and resolve it. So we shouldn't wreck it up. Nobody should do it. Neither in India nor in Nepal nor any political party. In the last uh, two years or so since Prime Minister Dyuba has been Prime Minister, this issue has not come up at all. So does that mean that nobody is interested in this issue? Only KP Oli is interested? No, no, you are also not interested. But only in the election time you wrecks up. You <laughs> because after uh, uh, amending the constitution to incorporate uh, that, that territory into our map, which was done unanimously, it was done unanimously by all the political parties, yeah. Uh, the, Mr. K.P. Wally was Prime Minister f more than one year after that incident. He didn't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. But now, during the election time, he's trying to make that issue. Mm -hmm. So we are saying this is none of your business. It's the national issue. Mm -hmm. So this is a concern of all of us, not your uh, personal matter. So don't rake it up. That's what we have been saying. So, so you are saying not to rake it up and not to make it an election issue? Yeah, it's, why should we? This is the national issue. Is it is the issue of the people of Nepal. All the political parties are behind uh, defending our territorial integrity and uh, national interest. But through political dialogue, this will be resolved. We, sh we, we are not picking up a war with our neighbor, with any foreign country. This is not the demand of the time. So, uh, for your narrow political gain, uh, you we should, we shouldn't arouse sentiment over it. But why did he do it? Why did K.P. Oli do it? I think you should ask him. So why do you think? No, that is what the opposition politicians all over the world do it. You see, in America also, Mr. Trump made a big issue of a wall in the border with Mexico. So that's a, these are the opposition politicians, they do it. But uh, with Mr. Oli, it is quite interesting. When he came to power in 2017, it was on an anti-India platform. But since then, he seems to have changed and he seems to have become much more religious. He's talking about Ayodhya and Ram and Sita, which are very good things. But why do you think this change has happened? 
not only anti india plan is is anti democracy plan he is a, in fact is a very mercurial character in the nepalese politics he has no consistency in what is says and what it does a very opportunistic uh, is a uh, indulges in uh, populism uh, try to swing the uh, people's mood in his favor and does nothing when he is in power so people are fed up with him and most probably he will be dumped this time after the election uh, so i don't want to comment more on it on this issue of uh, uh, border and other disputes with our neighbors uh, particularly india we all the parties are united this should be resolved through a friendly dialogue uh, through the diplomatic channel and we shouldn't make it a election issue but mr oli was your former communist colleague both of you were part of the same communist party no no i was never i was never in the communist party mr no, i think i let me make it clear in the in the maoist party which was led by prasanna and myself earlier after the promulgation of the constitution so i left the maoist party and we try to reorganize it in a new socialist party because my argument was now the days of maoism is over the our agenda has changed now the people want good governance and development so the uh, maoist ideology or the program won't be enough for the changing times so we try to reorganize a new socialist party and mr uh, uh, prachanda uh, he continue with the maoist party uh, later on he joined hand with mr kp oli and they formed a a unified uh, communist party and later on it is split so that is the history so i am not part of it i will never i never joined uh, the party led by mr kp oli but it uh, seems like a bit of a merry go round in nepali politics first prachanda and kp oli were together then they split now they are completely opposed <clears throat> they are fighting the elections on, on two different platforms so uh, it it seems that nepali politics is, is going through this this merry go round again no no it it happens the democracy is a long process is it uh, unfortunately uh, we completed our democratic transformation very late by the, um, the first decade of the 21st century so it is not even a, a decade when we uh, completed our democratic revolution so it has not taken root as it we have not developed democratic institution our bureaucracy judiciary security mechanism and all institutions are not are developed on a democratic foundation but that is why we are facing this problem but baburam ji explain to me you said that nepal has outgrown the maoist phase of politics but prachand ji is still talking about uh, continuing on that phase so you are differing with him although you are part of the same gathbandhan yeah we are in the gathbandhan we are in separate party but this time we have joined hands and the dialogue are going on most probably after the elections we will have a big debate uh, in the country over the reorganization of the left uh, forces uh, on a socialist platform not the old maoist platform and you handed over your constituency gorkha to prachand ji on a platter why no i have won the election from gorkha thrice and i have with record margin i have won and, and now i thought i am approaching 70 now now i am 69 so i joined politics to bring about democratic change in the country uh, for me democratic um, politics is a means for social transformation so is not for me is not a uh, politics for power so that's why i thought now it is enough i should uh, leave space for the new generation to take over because there, for me a social chain is like a relay race so once the first runner completes his uh, 100 meters he should hand over the baton to the next runner so that is why i have left it uh, coincidentally uh, mr my old comrade prathanda was looking for a new constituency so i proposed why not my constituency is very safe uh, you can easily win he doesn't have to uh, spend much of his time and energy there 
so I just offered and he accepted and he is fighting from that constituency and he will easily win. Well, like you said, it's a safe constituency. Last couple of questions. The Chinese uh, Minister for Culture is in town, but there seems to be already some sort of unhappiness because the government saying that they did not want him here. But why do you think uh, he came if the government didn't want him? No, I didn't know much about it. I didn't want to comment on it. But I think the um, I think on this issue, I would like to tell my friends in India, uh, Nepal is in a very sensitive uh, geostrategic situation between India and China. Uh, both are our neighbors, but we become uh, because of. Uh, open border with India, or historical linkages, cultural and others, we have to deal more with India. Uh, still politically, we are a sovereign country and we like to have good relations with both the neighbors. So I don't want to comment on this issue, but I, shouldn't, I don't think we should make a big issue of it. The, some minister, the near minister coming and going, doesn't matter, from people from India also come and go, from China also come and go. I think this is not a big issue. So in this election, how do you see it unfold? Obviously, you are hoping that your Gadbandhan will win, but in case uh, the in case there is a hung parliament, how do you see it unfold? No, no, we'll have a clear majority. This our coalition will have a clear majority, and we'll form a government for the next five years. So we'll uh, clean the dirt Mr. K.P. Oli has created uh, by destroying the democratic foundation over the last few years. And then we uh, will make a good ground for economic transformation of the country because the poverty and unemployment and backwardness is the biggest uh, agenda for Nepal. Uh, but how did he fall back? How did Mr. Oli, who was a former communist, fall back on religious symbolism? Especially when Prime Minister Modi was visiting, things were not very good between India and Nepal, but he tried to make amends in some way after the, uh, the border dispute uh, fiasco. Uh, and I was talking about praying to Ram, Sita, Ayodhya, these kind of things. Why do you think he became a new religious person? No, no, he has no consistency in his um, political position. Is that also opportunism? It is a sheer opportunism. He is a de big demagogue. So he just uh, indulges in cheap uh, populism uh, for his political gains. Uh, so uh, being a communist, I, I don't know why should he rake up the issue of Ayodhya, whether it is India or Nepal. Or the religion has no political boundaries. So this is no, it's not an issue uh, to be made. Uh, so I fail to understand why he does that. Maybe he was trying to uh, reach out to Prime Minister Modi. I don't know. What do you think? No, I, I don't want to comment on this. this is a cultural and religious issues are very sensitive matter. This is a, this is a personal matter of personal faith. Uh, my own understanding is uh, the state shouldn't interfere in the religious and cultural affairs. So it is up to the people to uphold their particular faith. So we shouldn't... Uh, uh, intervene in these issues. So if you're, uh, you, you, you believe that your Gadbantan will win, but there are also reports that there could be a rotational prime ministership between Mr. Sher Bahadur Dioba, the, the outgoing prime minister, and uh, Prachanji. No, it is a coalition, but within the coalition also, uh, you, you can have a political understanding and sharing of power. So. I think this is, this is nothing surprising. This is, uh, happens in Nepal. So sharing of power is possible between the two leaders? Yeah, it, is, it is, of course. It is, of course. I also talked to them. I have uh, already offered them whatever help I can do this, uh, during the election time also. Uh, so I have been in close contact with them, in close conversation with them. I am trying to help in whatever way I can do to make this coalition a success. Mr. Baburam Bhattarai, thank you so much for speaking to the print. This is Jyoti Malhotra in Nepal for the first time.